2022 has been a slow year for new anime games where a lot of teams had to adapt to working from home, affecting the production pipeline. Several big hitters like Blue Protocol that were speculated for a 2022 release were unfortunately delayed. All signs lead to 2023 being an industry changing year for new anime games, but in the meantime, I'm going to give you my top five anime games of 2022 to keep you entertained while we wait. Starting out at number five, we have Full Metal Alchemist Mobile slash Digimon Survive. I wanted to make sure to include both of these on the list because one is a mobile game and one is more of a visual novel. So I feel like just having one in this slot wouldn't do it justice. Full Metal Alchemist Mobile is a tactical RPG with combat similar to Fire Emblem. Since it's a mobile game, many expected less, but the combat and graphics for this game are extremely impressive, especially with it being free. Well, on the flip side of that, we have Digimon Survive, which plays similar to FMA Mobile, but it's primarily categorized as a visual novel with tactical RPG elements. Next, we have Gundam Evolution, and this is a team-based FPS. Yes, that's something you won't see often on a list of anime games, but hey, there's a first for every action. This probably isn't even the first, but you get what I'm saying. Gundam's Evolution allows you to pilot popular mobile suits from Gundam and 6v6 PvP combat. Coming in at number three, we have Dragon Ball The Breakers, which is essentially a Dead by Daylight clone with the Dragon Ball Z twist to it. In case you're not familiar with those types of games, essentially you have seven citizens who hide and survive an attack from the raider. But one thing you'll never have to hide from is that subscribe button. Once you click that, I will guard you from Cell, Frieza, Broly, whoever, I got you. Anyways, the raider can vary from several of Dragon Ball Z's classic villains. And as a citizen, you get to customize your own character. This game caught a lot of fans by surprise, but it's an extremely innovative take on a franchise like Dragon Ball Z with several games already on the market for shit as long as I can remember. At number two, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters, which is probably the biggest shocker on this list, honestly. This game is perfect for the casual Yu-Gi-Oh! fan who doesn't want to commit to buying packs in real life or going to a car shop and being all sweaty and nasty. You just want to play from the comfort of your own home. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel allows exactly that, and it's going to meet you in the middle, allowing you to still get the experience of playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, but instead it's going to be online with your friends, or if you don't have any friends, hey, I'm sorry, bro, I'll be your friend. But you can play online in a ranked matchmaking system as well. I would say this game is very beginner friendly for anyone who loved Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid, but doesn't quite understand all the new mechanics they added. The biggest draw to this game is that it's free to download, so you can give it a try without spending any money, and it's cross play platform so you can play with your friends on any type of console or PC that they have. Lastly, for the best anime game of 2022, we have JoJo's All-Star Battle R. All-Star Battle R really took advantage of the lack of anime games on the market in 2022 and just capitalized. They just took it and ran with it. All-Star Battle R brought a game that was previously only available on PS3, which no one has those right now. Like, like that's, it, it's, it's long gone. But they remastered it and brought it to next-gen consoles for JoJo fans. All-Star Battle is going to allow you to play with your favorite character, having a roster of over 50 characters from every Every story arc. You'll also get a chance to see characters from different JoJo verses interact with one another for the first time, which is a huge draw for fans. And recently, they just got a season pass announced, which likely means that they'll continue to release characters from the new JoJo verse. As I mentioned earlier, 2022 has been a slow year for new anime games, but I'll have a link to a video here where we're going to discuss all the upcoming releases to look forward to in 2023.